trial begins uh, today of a French man accused of carrying out four anti-Semitic murders in what is believed to be Europe's first attack by a jihadist fighter returning from war in Syria. Mehdi Nemouche, who has allegedly uh, got links to Islamic, Islamist militants, is accused of staging a terrorist attack at a Jewish museum in Brussels back in 2014. A fellow Frenchman is uh, also accused of supplying weapons to Nemouche. Uh, they're both expected to appear in court later today where the two will face over 100 witnesses throughout their trial. Uh, well, well, let's go live uh, to Brussels now and to Maeve McMahon uh, who's there for us and will be following it. Uh, Maeve, what can we expect uh, from the case today, from the trial today? Well, today is just the start, really, of what will, be via, what will be a very long and difficult but important process for the victims and the families of the victims of the attack back in May 2014. We'll see a jury put together of eight men and four women who over the next three months will have to look back at all the evidence linked to that attack, look at footage, CCT footage that was provided by the museum of that incident. Mehdi Demouche, who's charged with that terrorist murder, will be in court today alongside Nasser Bondre, who's said to be his accomplice, who has, is, who is allegedly have, has supplied uh, some of the weapons uh, to him. And there'll be about 125 people who'll be heard over the next uh, three months, months. And today in court, we're expecting to see uh, families of the victims as well uh, turn up and also members of um, Jewish representations uh, that are based here in Brussels. There's a community of about 30,000 people based here uh, in Belgium of the Jewish community. And Maeve, can you tell us a bit more about uh, Nimush and uh, how he was eventually caught? Well, Mehdi Nimush is a 33-year-old man of French-Algerian uh, descent. He's said to have had a heavy criminal past. He was in, in prison for some five years in France, linked to armed uh, robberies and vandalism. And it's said that it was actually back in prison where he was radicalised. And it's, it's, it's reported that three weeks after he came out of prison, he set off for Syria to join the so-called Islamic State, where he's said to have been trained. And then when he came back uh, to Europe, it's, it's alleged that he was the, the man to undertake that attack uh, back on the uh, 24th of May, on a sunny afternoon when there was a jazz, jazz festival taking place here in the city. It was just the day before the European elections and it was thought that he carried out that attack. It just took some 82 seconds uh, to kill on the spot three people a middle-aged um, couple from uh, Tel Aviv who were just on holidays here in Brussels and also a volunteer, a French uh, woman who was in that museum as well that day. And then he also critically injured a young man, a 26-year-old man who was uh, working in the museum that day who died a couple of days later from his, um, from his injuries. Now, Mehdi Namush had also linked to Abdelabid Abaoud. Abdelabid Abaoud, if you remember, is said to have been one of the ringleaders or the masterminds of the Paris attacks in 2013 in France, who was killed a couple of days later in a dramatic um, confrontation with the police. And he's also said to have links with Nashim Lashraoui, who was the Brussels uh, bomber here, responsible for an attack on the 22nd of March back in 2016 here in Belgium.